Welcome back, welcome back everybody. Welcome to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everyone. I'm your host, my name is Catherine. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so please take this energy that resonates with your energy and with the person that is closest to you. If you are new to the channel, make sure you are subscribed by clicking on the watermark in the bottom right corner of your screen. That will allow your energy to flow freely through this message. And also, Cancer, you will be um, entered in your chance to win. I do a giveaway every month on this channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, crystals, jewelry, and free readings, Cancer. So all you need to do is be subscribed and you will be entered. In your chance to win if you check the information in the description box then you will see if your name has been posted you can win up to three times in a calendar year so make sure you are subscribed make sure your notifications are turned on so that you can be notified when I announce the winners and when I am posting my readings all right so let's go ahead and get started with the message cancer we're going to look at the energy on your side, and we're going to look at your person's energy, okay? Hold on just a moment. Sorry about that, Cancers. Okay, so let's get started. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about Cancer, please. So we have the King of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Fire Energy. Tell us about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, Angels, and Guides, tell us about Cancer, please. And then we have the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo Capricorn energy. Tell us about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us. And then we have the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords, Cancer. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Under the deck, we have the Ten of Cups with the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Wands with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm. So, Cancer, I do feel like um, with this King of Cups here and this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, this is somebody who is not really expressing or showing their emotions cancer um and things are changing things are changing things are not going well um and i feel like this is your energy coming through here this is somebody who is unhappy in their situation cancer but with this wheel of fortune in the reverse there's an energy of this person is not talking about it. They're just kind of stuck in this situation where they're unhappy and they're not expressing any anything to their person, which is exactly what we talked about in the previous message, Cancer. It's just somebody who is in a situation and they're no longer happy, but they are not expressing any emotions to their person this person is 
still being very supportive because they still love their person. And I feel like there's still a lot of, um, they still feel very devoted to their person, um, Cancer. Now with the Three of Cups here and the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like there is an energy of, you know, somebody is now wanting to hang out with friends. I feel like there's something is changing. Something is changing very quickly. Ten of Pentacles represents the home, Cancer. It represents everything, um, being emotionally happy, having everything that you want at home, right? But with this Three of Cups here, this is an energy of somebody who is out with friends and partying, like out with other people. They're not at home. With the Five of Swords, Cancer, and the Three of Swords, um, this represents a lot of conflict here. Somebody is definitely going to be getting their heart broken in this situation. I feel like there's an energy, Cancer, whenever this person leaves this connection, the other person is not going to know that this was coming. It's, you know, it's as if they had no clue that there was any problem in the connection. With the Ten of Cups here and the Two of Pentacles, um, I feel like there's an energy of somebody going back and forth, um, not really... It's like somebody that's wanting to adapt to the situation. With the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands, Cancer, these are both energies of people who are wanting to be on their own, people who are very independent. Um, they don't need someone um, to validate them, Cancer. And with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, this is an energy of somebody who is no longer wanting to be in a connection. So I feel like, Cancer, the back and forth here is you. I feel like you're going back and forth on breaking up the connection. But with that Queen of Wands and that Knight of Wands energy and that Three of Pentacles Cancer, you're not going to be able to resist it. Like, you're not going to be able to resist it. Um, this Knight of Wands is a very unpredictable energy here. And this Queen of Wands is very confident Cancer. So I do feel like there's going to be a burst of confidence that um, is going to help you um, to move forward and do what you want to do in this situation. But I feel like, you know, the other person is going to feel broken hearted here. So let's go ahead and look at the cards. This could be your energy cancer. Now this could be flipped. This could be you um, cancer that's getting ready to get left now this could be your person in this king of cups energy i don't know but let's go ahead and clarify here i really don't think this is you i think this is your person cancer i think you're the king of cups here but let's see tell me about this king of cups please tell me about the king of cups and we have the hermit in the reverse this is honestly someone who is feeling very distant from their person. They feel very distant. Um, cancer, that is definitely your energy coming through. And look, there's that Queen of Wands energy right there. See what I mean? And I don't feel like this is representing a third party energy here, Cancer. I feel like that Queen of Wands is your confidence. 
coming through. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, please. And you have the Nine of Wands. See, Cancer, I feel like there's an energy of you have been in this situation and you have just, um, and your person is, you know, kind of content with you being there. Even though, even though it's not a happy situation, it's like there's no love left in this connection, Cancer, but you're, you've stayed in this connection anyway. Because you didn't want to hurt the other person. And frankly, Cancer, it would have hurt you to leave as well. Okay? Because I feel like you have been in this situation for a long time. And you were really used to this person. And you honestly thought that it would work out. But, you know, it never happened, Cancer. You never got the love that you were looking for in the connection. It just never happen for you and underneath the deck with the page of cups cancer this is somebody who is getting ready to come in with an emotional some emotional communication and i feel like this is going to be you letting your person know you know that you love them but it you know you're it's time to go you're not happy anymore cancer Tell me about this Three of Cups, please. And we have the Fool, Cancer. You know what? You are off looking for something new. With this Three of Cups energy, like I said, I feel like this is you out having a good time with friends, you know, and just kind of being happy again. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like you don't get this from your connection. You have the world here. See, this is a cycle that's closing, Cancer. You are closing a cycle, but I feel like, you know, you just want to make sure that door is, all, is closed all the way. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. I feel like things are going to happen really fast. And we have the devil in the reverse, Cancer. Cancer with that Ten of Pentacles, like I said, this all happened very quickly. This is an energy or a person that is feeling their independence, feeling a little taste of freedom, ready to get out there and see what's out there, Cancer. And you have the Seven of Pentacles under the deck. So definitely somebody who is, you know, looking into doing something long term but cancer this is somebody who's also considering what they have invested in a connection so I feel like while you are quick to get out there and you know see if there's something new for you I feel like there's an energy of you needing to hold off a little bit and there's like a need for you to be patient and wait a little bit you want to make sure that door is all the way closed before you open a new door here because with that five of swords and the three of swords here cancer i don't see this going very well for the other person do you know what i mean i feel like cancer there's going to be a blow up here Tell me about this Five of Wands, Five of Swords, please. Tell me about the Five of Swords, please. And you have the Eight of Pentacles. Under the deck, you have the Eight of Cups, Cancer. So, you know, there's an energy here of you walking away, Cancer, um, because you felt like you could do better. The Eight of Pentacles represents someone who is bossing up or leveling up in the situation. 
with that eight of cups cancer that is very it's this person is not going to take this very well this talks about somebody being very emotionally overwhelmed or very unhappy with the situation cancer and I'm telling you right now, this person is not in a very good headspace right now because they feel like you've caused some sort of upheaval in the connection. Like you left this person without warning or you didn't give this person a heads up. Tell me about the Three of Swords. And you have the Moon, Cancer. It's like this person feels like it's been an illusion they feel like you have kept them in the dark because you've held on to this for so long you've been unhappy for so long to the point where it just kind of blew up cancer and now that you're wanting to speak your truth now this other person is caught off guard with the moon here okay it's they're gonna feel like it's all been a big illusion here underneath the deck with the tower do you see what I mean cancer this is like you're pulling the rug from underneath this person's feet they are not seeing this coming um, and it's gonna be very hard for them to adjust to the fact that you are no longer wanting to be in this connection that's why you have this ten of cups with the two of Pentacles like this person thought that this was a happy situation and now you've just left and this person is left trying to adapt to the situation. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Like you're very confidently going off to, to you know, do what you want, Cancer. And this could be the other person. So, you know, I'm just speaking um, generally here because... I do have to pick a side, Cancer, but in this case, I am leaving it open because this could be you and this could be your person. But somebody has uh, kept quiet for too long about being unsatisfied. And now when they tell the other person, the other person is going to feel like they didn't get any warning. Tell me about the two Ten of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So like I said, Cancer, this person is not going to be happy when this happens. Knight of Swords in the reverse is a very unpredictable energy. This person, you don't know what this person is going to do. Oh, but underneath the deck, we have the Hierophant here. So Cancer, this person may... Um, this person may propose marriage to keep you from leaving. I feel like there's an energy of this person is going to come in offering some level, uh, some higher level of commitment in hopes that you, you will stay with them. Tell me about this Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands, please. We have the Page of Pentacles here. Underneath the deck, the High Priestess. This is someone who wants to be recognized, Cancer, but with that High Priestess energy, water energy, I feel like you are not... I feel like you're not going to um, give in to what this person is, is saying or trying to do to keep you from leaving here. That High Priestess, I feel like this is you moving towards, you know, what's best for you. Um, I don't think you're looking back in this situation. With the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, I don't see you coming back to this cancer. Yeah, there you are, Chariot. You are moving towards what's best for you. This is you focused on your future being determined, moving forward, Cancer. With the King of Wands, this is you taking action. This is you taking control of your own future, ca Cancer. Um, and you have every right to, 
change your mind. You have every right to. I don't feel like you were in a... I don't feel like you were married to this person at all. Again, I feel like this person is coming in offering marriage, but I think like I think it's going to be a little bit too late for you, Cancer. By the time they do that, you're already going to be out the door. So we're going to come back in the extended, Cancer, and look at your energy. I have a very strong inclination, um, definitely, that you're walking away from this person here. But let's come back and look at your energy and see how your person is going to react. And I also want to see, Cancer, if you are going to find new love or, you know, what's going to happen. So let's take this in the extended. Things can change a lot in the extended, you guys. So please take advantage. I will see you guys there in just a minute. Bye.